So I wanted to make a quick little video about foot protection because we were out riding yesterday. Friend just snagged a little root, you know, did some dirt sampling, brushed himself off. And then at lunch, we find, he found out his big toe was crooked. And now we find out it's broken and he was wearing this shoe. So I'm like, wow, what the heck? But it's a subject, foot protection is a subject I wanted to talk about, especially with regards to e-mountain biking. So we'll, I'll give you the layout of the foot protection of some of these shoes. And I want to hear from you guys what your experience is with injury, foot injuries and foot protection. All right. All right. Foot protection. I thought he was all protected, but what the heck happened? You know, it's just a little root. So foot protection is a big issue with analog pedal bikes, but with e-bikes, e-mountain bikes, it's an even bigger issue. Why is that? Because the motor turns your pedals with you. Okay. And it doesn't shut off instantly. There's a little bit of overrun and then you have to pedal through rocks and whatnot. So there's a lot more situations where you hit your pedals, your cranks, and your feet on rocks and roots. And that's why they make cranks so short. It used to be like 170s. For a lot of e-bikes, it's like 160s because they hit so much, right? So your, your, your feet are in grave danger. So also you're, you're doing bigger rides, you're in a lot more rugged terrain, a lot of rocks and scree, you know, things that are not friendly to uh, to normal bikes, e-bikes are fine. So you're, you're in a little more risk well, with e-mount bikes. So if you have just started or you're, you're just uh, using current shoes, you know, you're probably, you might be using Vans and your tennis shoes. So this is an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them to you, talk about pros and cons and press on the, the toe box and right on top and the side. So as you can see, no protection. <laughs> Really good feel because it's got pretty good grip. You could, you could feel your bike with this and you look cool on the post ride, but no protection at all. You're in grave danger with that one. So my buddy had this shoe. This is the uh, 510 Trail Cross, now owned by Adidas. And it looks great, right? Looks like a beefy shoe. But most of the, most of the protection is in the ankle. They have 3DO here, but in the front, they have nothing. <laughs> in the middle, really nothing. Just mesh, breathable. And right here, uh, even in, in right on the tip, hardly anything. And right where he got hit on the toe, it's almost like the vans. So pretty deceiving. So, and on the top, nothing. A, a rock can just go around and then boom, land on the top. It's going to hurt. And the funny thing with, with uh, foot protection is when you hit it, when you hit your foot, you feel a lot of pressure. And then five minutes later, if the pressure has increased or if the pain has increased, you probably have, you're probably sprained or broken. But if it's gone, your foot protection did its job. So this is a popular one. This is the Freerider Pro from 510. And right here, uh, a little bit of foot prote toe protection, but not, not so much. On the top, a little bit, not so much, same thing. And it's very low cut. So you're, you're, I always hit my bone, uh, my ankle bone here onto the cranks or my bike. This is a Liat 2.0. They're all about protection. So 3.0, 4.0, they get more protective uh, right here. A little bit, you can see the vulcanized uh, rubber here for protection or the welded rubber, but not so much, really. Uh, this is more a trail shoe, cross-country shoe. Uh, low top as well, and this is a trail shoe from Specialized. This is the Roost. Uh, so a, a little, little beefier stuff here on the tip, but boom, if I press hard on it, uh, you're still exposed. On the top, really not much. So ride concepts has uh, really come into the market with very nice flat shoes, very protective, but they've had some financial difficulty. Uh, people have been having a problem getting stuff from them, but I think they were acquired by Raceface, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll, we'll see some good stuff from them again. Uh, and this one is called the Ride Concepts Talic, and it's very low profile, but pretty darn ugly. <laughs> but they have like two levels of foot of toe protection here, you know, some rubber here, uh, and right there, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, on the top, not so much. Uh, on the side, not, not too bad. Uh, but it is a very low profile shoe, very tight on your feet. And this one, I think is what made them famous, is the Helion, Helion Elite. Uh, I press on the, the toe, yeah, some good resistance there. So the rock will, or the root will meet some resistance before saying hi to your toe. On the side, uh, a little bit, not so much either. It's more, there's more a heel cup. And then this is a good one. This is the uh, specialized downhill pedal, 2FO DH. 
and look at that three levels of of uh, welded rubber very tough here pretty tough here so this and this is a mid top so you get a lot of protection here so this is a very good shoe and it's actually a, a clipless uh, shoe so you, you can get it a lot of clipless shoes they don't offer a lot of protection um, but you know they are available so this is a zero shoe uh, pretty good protection all right so this is a mid top free rider from 510 not not very new but now it offers decent protection here but really what it adds to the table is side protection you know if you hit your your ankle a lot your side bone you have weak ankles this is pretty good and the most protective shoe i have is this one this is from 510 adidas the impact pro meaning if you're a pro at impacts this is what you need uh, and uh, really really stiff right here so not the best feeling shoe you know, sometimes, you know, but uh, if you need protection, a lot, a lot of scree, a lot of rocks, uh, rolling rocks on the trail, this is what you want. And some very good side and ankle protection. So I'm going to Downeyville uh, tomorrow. This, I think this is what I'm going to bring uh, and maybe my downhill, downhill shoe. So there's kind of my rundown. Um, you know, think about your protection if you're e-mountain biking uh, for your feet because you're more exposed. Uh, to injury uh, with your feet. Yeah, I can't tell you, I've, I've hit my, sh my feet maybe uh, 10 times in the last year. And usually, and every time the pain has gone away. You know that it, pressure is hard, the pain has gone away, it means the shoe did its job. So I would say err on the side of caution, uh, really more than your cross country shoe. And don't, don't use your Vans or, or your sneakers uh, because you know, there's, there's very little compromise to, to wearing a more protective, heavier shoe since you have e-assist anyway, all right? Thanks a ton, everybody.